the Duchess of Sussex, who is due to give birth to her first child with days, is shunning the London hospital where many royal babies, including her husband Prince Harry, were born. Meghan Markle's location for the birth of the couple's first child has only recently been revealed. Here's what we know so far. The former actress has decided against giving birth at the Lindo Wing of St. Mary's Hospital in London, favoured by British royalty since 1977. The 37-year-old has broken a four-decade tradition by instead opting for a maternity hospital closer to her and Prince Harry's new home in the ancient town of Windsor. The Mulberry Birth Centre at Frimley Park in Surrey is 15 miles away from Frogmore Cottage, which is where the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are set to move. It is much more scaled back compared to the £7,500 a night Lindo Wing of St. Mary's Hospital where the Duchess of Cambridge gave birth to all three of her children. The mum-to-be could also have opted for Frimley Park because it has four birthing rooms that provide a homely environment and focus on birth without medical intervention. Meghan is expected to give birth in April 2019. Kate Middleton gave birth to Prince George, 5, Princess Charlotte, 3, and 8-month-old Prince Louis at the Lindo Wing in Paddington. It was also the maternity unit of choice for Diana, Princess of Wales who gave birth to William in 1982 and Harry at St. Mary's in 1984. The Princess Royal had her first child, Peter Phillips, there, followed by daughter Zara in 1981. The Lindo Wing offers mums to be the chance to indulge in afternoon tea, lavish menus and bottomless champagne to celebrate the birth. She and Prince Harry have opted for a maternity unit closer to their Windsor home, The Sun on Sunday reported. The decision prompted speculation that the couple have chosen Frimley Park Hospital, in Surrey, where the Countess of Wessex gave birth to both of her children. The NHS-run hospital Frimley Park would be closer to Meghan and Harry's new Windsor pad, Frogmore Cottage. According to one source, the couple decided not to use the Lindo Wing because they would like the birth to be as private as possible. A source told The Sun on Sunday, this child will not be born at the Lindo. The talk of all the senior clinicians there is that Meghan doesn't want to copy what Kate did. Harry and Meghan realize there is intense public interest but this baby is not a direct heir to the throne and they want the birth to be as private as possible. Meghan is nervous about complications such as an emergency caesarean and doesn't want the pressure of having to look immaculate on the hospital steps just hours later. The Lindo Wing of London St. Mary's Hospital was the birthplace of many royal babies over the years. The private wing is named the Lindo Wing, where many royal and celebrity births have taken place and was founded in 1937. The name comes from businessman and hospital board member Frank Charles Lindo, who donated £111,500 to the hospital. Kate Middleton gave birth to her third child Prince Louis in the private Lindo Wing of St. Mary's Hospital on Monday, April 23, 2018 at 11.01 am. She also gave birth to her other two children there, Prince George, 5, and Princess Charlotte, 3. Prince William and Prince Harry were born in the hospital too. Meghan has broken a four-decade royal tradition by shunning the hospital where Kate and Princess Diana gave birth. She and Prince Harry have decided not to have their baby at the Lindo Wing of St. Mary's Hospital in Paddington. Instead, the couple have opted for a maternity unit closer to their Windsor home. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced they were expecting their first child on October 15. Now it has emerged that Meghan has shunned the Lindo Wing. Instead, the couple have opted for a maternity unit closer to their Windsor home. A source said, Harry and Meghan realize there is intense public interest but this baby is not a direct heir to the throne and they want the birth to be as private as possible. If your private health insurance does not cover maternity costs, the Lindo Wing offers packages for overnight care. For a standard room, a one-night package for normal delivery costs £5,900, and a caesarean section costs £7,435. If you wish to stay an additional night, it would cost you £1,175. For a deluxe room, a normal delivery package is £6,275 and a caesarean is £7,810 and an additional night would cost £1,550.